Hey, one thing with my YouTube channel, I seem to be putting a lot of videos up, of course, just on flashlights. And I do love gadgets. And I put together quite a few things. I got a few things set up back here. Like this uh, pyrolytic graphite sheet that I got with a neodymium magnet. This thing runs forever. I built that from scratch. It's got a thing of bismuth on it. And this here, what I call, would be an upside-down floating magnet. Little kit that I put together. And, of course... My big one that I've gotten some, quite a few of my videos in the background, and I'll put boxes on there. That'll weigh, well, hold up to a pound. This video is about is this here. This is a swinging sticks, a desktop toy version. There's three versions of it. This is the smallest version, and this is from this Fortune Products Incorporated. I bought this on Amazon. They're not cheap. This one cost me literally $98. And if you don't know what this is, this is the swinging stick that is on. They had it on Iron Man 2 in the background. And it's kind of popular. I've always wanted one. Well, I went and bought one. And we're going to do is open it up. And I'm going to put it together and get it operating. And maybe only talk it tiny bit about it but just giving you an idea what you can expect i'll throw a link in where the company i bought it from I'm not affiliated with them or anything but figured i'll throw this up if somebody would like to see it i think i'm going to do is put more videos together and upload them on some of the projects that i work on some are quite interesting we've got a box within a box Well, here's the instructions. And a little Phillips screwdriver. Well, I don't think it's going to be much of a project putting it together. Literally no project putting it together. So that's kind of a bonus. And underneath, I take out four screws to get to the battery compartment. Now this thing says it'll run from what I've seen up to two years and I know the larger versions they'd set at 4A batteries. I'm not sure how many are on this one. Oh my gosh. Let's go get my other screwdriver, but let's get this out. You're thing in the background, my seven year old's playing with my two year old grandson. They're trying to scare each other. So I'm not sure why it would go to this extreme I'm putting these batteries in here. Alright, got the bottom off. Once I could read the instructions. Not much to it. Well, we're going to look real quick. Directions. Please read the direction before unpacking. Too late. Please remove the swing sticks. Now, supply, use the supplied screwdriver for new alkaline batteries. To start, slowly turn the longer stick in its directional rotation and bring. To start, in a long. To start, slowly turn the longer stick in a directional rotation and bring it to a horizontal position and simply let go. All right, horizontal, let it go. Oh, well, it says don't put it near magnetic field. So I got one, two, and a big one. So I might have to pull them out of there. I don't know how far, well, maybe not. Seems to be working quite well. well it doesn't say on there how long the batteries last, but I've what I've read, upwards of two years, this thing will just keep spinning like that. It's not real heavy. You got a plastic base, and what I looked up on the inside here, I figured there was some reed switches and stuff like that triggering that, but it's not. It's a very simple actual design. You have two sensor coils. You got a actually electro magnet in the in the center here, where this thing swings through, and you got two sensor coils. And when they sense that it's swinging through too fast, reading from one to the other. Uh, it triggers this off a little bit or makes it flutter so it slows it down a little and that's it Otherwise, it would just keep spinning up to where like I did a floating magnet motor video it uh Tried to achieve in 10,000 rpm, but my arrow kept flying Wobbling and flying off and that's what would ultimately happen here if it just kept doing it and speed up So that's pretty cool and that is what you can expect out of the $98 and it is pretty darn good pretty uh, smooth looking piece of equipment very quiet and I'll probably have this at uh, the backdrop on a lot of my videos only thing I'd be worried about is I'm 
if there's bearings in there, which there are, if they uh, could get possibly dried up. It obviously doesn't matter which way it goes. Now I'm going counterclockwise. And I know this magnet, or this right here, has a very strong neodymium magnet in it. And my guess, this one here has no magnet. It's just, if you notice, it's not mounted right in this center. So what it does, gives it that little bit of a offset. Like that. This thing's balanced beautiful though. You wouldn't want to drop it on the floor. Once that gets rolling. It's worth $98. That's up to the, I guess, buyer's discretion. To me it is. Run forever like this. So that's pretty awesome. Good conversation piece. Hate to see how big the big one is. So this is the desktop version. This works great for putting it on a desk somewhere. This would be great for the gadget-minded person as a present. I can tell you that right now. Ninety-eight dollars, a little steep, but I'm impressed with it. Then you have to put it together. I'm going to read this off here real quick on these uh, developed and produced by the maker of the famous original swinging stick doesn't really tell you much pretty neat though you got a copyright patent on there One thing I do want to share with this thing, the attention to detail is just incredible on the machining on this and no sharp edges or anything. Actually, it's almost like a work of art. I'm impressed with it. You'd be impressed with it, I'm telling you. Like I said, I'm going to throw more videos up on stuff, like building that, building that, and how I built this thing here. Uh, I like magnets for some reason. I have no idea why. There'll be more to come, so stay tuned. There you are, swinging sticks, desktop toy version. Till next time.